students today we are going to learn one important topic in engineering mathematics that is maxima minima of two variable okay in this one video i explain the formula and procedures and with example i can explain the whole sum okay let's get started formula of maxima minima that is let f of x comma y be the function of the variable x and y that is the function is found by two variable that is x comma y okay the procedure to find maxima minima is take f of x comma y equal to 0 then find dou f by dou x differentiate with respect to x equal to 0 and differentiate the function with respect to y equal to 0 then we got one term right then substitute a comma b the, va the value will be given in the sum itself okay and a comma b value is given and equate this equation into 0 okay then find dou squared f by dou x squared at the point of a comma b this term is termed as a then dou squared f by dou x dou y in terms of a comma b this term is termed as b then dou squared f by dou y squared a comma b this term is termed as c okay then the next step one simple step is there that is if a c find then find a c minus b square okay if this value is greater than zero then a and a is less than zero and b is less than zero means f of a comma b is maximum value if it is not f of x is minimum value okay if a c minus b square greater than zero and a greater than zero and b greater than zero means it is minimum value if a c minus b square less than zero means it is not extremum uh, otherwise it is called saddle point okay if a c minus b square is equal to zero we cannot decide whether the a b gives maximum or minimum okay okay let's see one sum and we got a clear idea okay what's the sum was at point four comma zero it is a comma b okay we see in the formula okay the function f of x comma y is x cube three x y squared minus 15 x squared minus 15 y squared plus 72x attains maximum minimum or saddle or none of the above okay they are the function is variable with two variable that is x comma y okay let's see the answer first what we had to find was dou f by dou x sorry dou f by dou x at the point 4 comma 0 okay so first dou f by dou x then find dou f by dou y okay then find dou squared f by dou x squared and dou squared f by dou x dou y and dou squared f by dou y squared what is this term is called a this term is called b this term is called c then find a c minus b squared right so sorry and we have to put the point with the, they are they are given was 4 comma 0 in this equation that is the second differentiated equation and put 4 comma 0 and we got one value okay for a b and c okay then and a c minus b squared equal to okay then find a c minus b squared okay what's the value is 36 it is greater than 0 and what's the value a a is minus 6 b is 0 a is less than 0 okay so if a if a c minus b squared greater than 0 and a is less than 0 miss means the point 4 comma 0 gives maximum value if a is greater than also 0 means it gives minimum value if a c minus b squared is equal to 0 means it is a saddle point okay that's it just remember all the points which are which are uh, given in the formula okay let's revise once again what's what what's the procedure is maximum minimum of two variable equal to dou f by dou x equal to 0 then find dou f by dou dou squared f by dou x squared equal to 0 at a point a comma b and form a b c values and find a c minus b squared and compare the all the values and find the answer okay that's it uh, friends if you have any doubt please write it down in the comments below okay thank you so much for your valuable time thank you